Hello, I'm Ninja Greg, and this is the second installment of Ninja Noms. And as you can see, I'm back in the Zen Den once again, but I don't have any food near me. Why is that, you may wonder? Well, I decided to do something a little special. Because of the current time of year that it is, this is right around the time when Disney has the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. And so, because I greatly enjoy that, that event, and I go to it just about any time that I can. I wish I could say every year, but realistically it hasn't been every year. I decided to film an episode of Ninja Noms for, of, of me at the Food and Wine Festival, because I always enjoy, you know, traveling to the different uh, World Showcase venues and trying food from all over the world, and I've always looked forward to what new things they have every year. And I'll likely do something similar, you know, throughout the year for Epcot's different festivals, like the Festival of the Holidays, which is coming up after Food and Wine, and the Festival of the Arts, which comes up after uh, after uh, Festival of Holidays is over. And I haven't decided on Flower and Garden, but I'll uh, I'll, uh, I'll make that decision when the festival rolls around proper, but. Yeah, the footage you're about to see is, uh, you're not going to see me on camera. You will definitely hear my voice, and you're definitely going to see, you know, footage of Epcot and the different foods I'm going to try, but because I'll be recording recording myself, uh, you know, I'll be actually holding the camera, not, you know, sitting it on a table like I usually do. So, um, this is going to be something a little bit different, but... I'm still going to be trying new and interesting things and, you know, posting what I see and experience on YouTube. But this episode is not sponsored by Disney. I'm just doing this because this is something I want to do. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy and I will see you again at the end of the, at the end of, um, you know, all the Epcot footage. Okay, I have arrived at Disney's Epcot Center for the Food and Wine Festival. It is October 1st, 2019. And because of the sheer amount of food available, and because you can get full rather quickly, I will likely have to break this into several parts. So this is Ninja Nom Special number one. Food and Wine, uh, Food and Wine Festival, Part One. All right, and I will see you later when I find my first sampling. Okay, so my first stop is uh, here, Flavors from Fire, and I am having the, blend, the, the Steakhouse Blended Burger. Blended beef and mushroom slider with brie cheese, fondue, arugula, and truffle and blue cheese potato chip on a brioche bun. Okay, that's what it says in the uh, passport. And it sounds like it's going to be an interesting flavor profile, so uh, let's take a bite. Yeah. Beef is pretty good. Uh, the chip is nice and crispy. The cheese fondue really stands out, but in a good way. No, oh, but I didn't know any better. I'd say this was pure meat. Well, it's almost uh, almost as good as the Impossible Burger that I've had, which is actually made entirely from plants. So, yeah, as long as they keep tasting like this, I am all for the uh, meatless alternative to hamburgers. All right, I'll see you at my next stop. Okay, stop number two from uh, Earth Eats, and I am having the. Uh, the Impossible Burger Slider. So, 
from one healthy alternative to a hamburger to another. Uh, according to the passport, this is made with wasabi cream and a spicy Asian slaw on a sesame seed bun. Let's give it a taste. Definitely a little bit, of, a little bit of that uh, wasabi bring out the flavor. And again, for something that's meatless, this is really not bad. All right, well that does it for this one. I will see you at my next. And from the Australia Pavilion. I, you can't see it from here because um, there wasn't any. I couldn't find any tables nearby, so I can't show you the booth. Well, I could probably show you when I walk by it because I'm actually gonna uh, go back to something I that I missed. Anyways, this is the roasted lamb chop from the Australia booth with sweet potato puree, bushberry pea salad, and pistachio pomegranate remolada. Whatever that is. Well, let's see how it tastes. This uh, might be difficult to do with one hand, but where there's a will, there's a way. Screw etiquette, I'm just gonna take it like a meaty lollipop. Mmm. The meat's nice and tender. A bit of sweetness of the sweet potato. A little bit in there. It's pretty good too. Mmm. Wow, that is good sweet potato. And I'm not a sweet potato guy. Uh, I think that'll do it for this one. I'll see you at my next stop. I don't know how many more stops I'm going to do because, well, there's quite a lot. Like I said, you can get full pretty easily. I can usually do about four or five, and uh, this is number three. And before I go any further, uh, just to make sure I got all my bases covered in case I didn't say it before, I am uh, this special installment of Ninja Noms is not sponsored by Disney, although I wish I was. Wink, wink. Okay, so there is the uh, Australia booth that I got the lamb chop from. And over here is the Hawaii booth where I got my next item. Let's see if I can find it here in my passport. Ah, yes. The Kalua pork spider. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah. Uh, with sweet and sour dull pineapple chutney. And a spicy mayonnaise. And it looks like they got a King's Hawaiian sweet roll bun here. Let's dig in. Really? This one's a bit messy. Mm. Aloha! Delicious blend of savory and sweet. All right, once I polish this off, it's on to the next stop. Okay, I'm starting to get kind of full, so this I think might be my last stop for this part. And as you can see, I've got a soft serve uh, strawberry cone, and you're probably wondering what's so special about that. Well, it comes from this place called Shimmering Sips, which last year was sponsored by Almond Breeze. So I'm guessing this is ice cream made with almond milk. And I actually had their um, almond milk ice cream last year. It was made with like nuts and bananas and stuff, and that was pretty good. So uh, let's see how this compares. Strawberry is usually not my go-to ice cream flavor. I'm more of a chocolate guy, but let's see how this fares.
Yeah, it's strawberry ice cream. Pretty good strawberry ice cream, but well, what you see is what you get. All right, I think that'll do it for today. So join me on part two of the Ninja Nam special. Uh, uh, Epcot Food and Wine Festival. See you next time. Okay, it is uh, part two of my Ninja Noms Epcot Food and Wine Special. It is Thursday, October 3rd, 12.46 at the time of this recording. And for my first sampling, I have duck confit poutine with big demi gloss. I'm sorry, big demi sauce and brie cheese fondue. I got it from the refreshment port right over there. All right, let's dig in. So I can get my fork out of its plastic wrap. This looks like a meal in and of itself. Good golly. Let me see if I can get a little bit of everything in a, in a fork full. Mmm. Very good. Duck is pretty good. Got a nice flavor to it. The cheese is cheese is warm and uh, warm and creamy. The duck also kind of has a smoky flavor to it. And of course the fries are nice and crispy. So yeah. This is a definite plus if you're coming to the uh, Food and Wine Festival. Although it's a tad bit more on the expensive side because I think uh, it's run by a different company that runs the than some of the other uh, booths are. I don't know. Disney sponsorship and companies and the company deals are weird. But let's not talk business. Let's talk food. And we will talk food some more at my next stop. Okay, stop number two. And I got the uh, marinated chicken with peanut sauce and stir-fried vegetables from the Thailand booth right here. Let's dig in. Mm. Who thought grilled, you know, marinated chicken would go so well with warm peanut butter? Okay, I realize there's probably more to a peanut sauce than just that, but Seriously, this tastes like warm peanut butter in my mouth, and I do not mind in the slightest. Alright, I'll see you next time for our next stop. Okay, gone off a bit of the beaten path here, because when I attend this this festival, I usually go in the order that's uh, printed in the passport, but looking through it, there's actually multiple, ent multiple entrees from the... Uh, from several, well, a couple of countries that I want to try, and because I like to keep just one entree to per visit, I'm going to be uh, tackling a couple of countries multiple days in a row. Really, it's just just to uh, Japan and Morocco. So, from my first my first entree from Morocco is New York strip steak with green shamula fret. Uh, flatbread, and fresh radish and tomato salsa. And uh, learning my lesson from the uh, lamb chop in part one, I've already uh, forked my meat, so uh, let's take a bite. Well, it's got good seasoning on it. Bit, uh, well, meaty for my liking. I mean, it's, it's not tough, it's actually kind of juicy. But it's definitely chewy. Yeah, a lot of it. Alright. 
I'll see you for my next at my next stop. Okay, from Japan, I got the uh, teriyaki chicken bun, steamed bun filled with chicken, vegetables, and sweet teriyaki sauce. Is wrapping here, and because this is Japanese, we gotta do things proper. Itadakimas. Oh, oh, it's so good. I'm a very picky eater, and I don't like vegetables, but mm, it's something like this. I honestly can't taste them. I could probably eat a hundred of these if I didn't think I'd get violently sick, but that, that's just how good they are. All right, I'll see you in my uh, next stop. Okay, I'm going to end today off with something a little bit sophisticated from the Cheese Studio, that building right there. This is black pepper for son souffle with fig marmalade. So this is a cheese souffle made with Borsan cheese. Makes sense because the cheese studio itself is sponsored by Borsan. So I think I've had souffle maybe once before, but let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Fluffy. Cheesy, fruity, and peppery all at the same time. Mm. Uh, this is really good. I could, uh, this could easily, I could easily have this for breakfast. Yeah. It's just w so warm and cozy, exactly how breakfast should be. Maybe I should start off today with this. Oh well, hindsight's 2020, as they say. All right, that's it for today. So I'll see you in my next part. Okay, it's October 8th, 2019, and it is 12:40 p.m. at the time of this recording, and it is part three of the Ninja Noms Epic Ep Ninja Noms Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Okay, so I've stopped off in Canada, and I'm going to try their uh, cheddar and bacon soup with a, with a pretzel roll. And that's what, let's try the soup by itself. Definitely cheddar. Ooh, that is a strong cheddar. Bacon's not as strong as I would uh, like, but it's definitely there. Now let's try it with a pretzel roll. Mm. Alright, that's not bad. That's pretty good. The, compl the bread complements the soup pretty good. All right, I'll see you for my next day. The only indoor location I've been to so far, Apple Seed Orchard, and I've got caramel apple popcorn in this neat little apple container here, and frozen apple pie. That, that's going to be the most interesting thing because I don't know what to expect. From that. So. Uh, Let's get at the caramel apple first. And it's got brown caramel and green apple pieces, so let's try them out. Yep. Definitely tastes like a caramel apple. Definitely got a distinctive apple and caramel flavor on each kernel. Save the flavor for later. Let's get to the frozen apple pie. This might be a bit of a mess because the apple crumbles on top. Mm. 
Perhaps a better name for it would be apple cider Slurpee. That's what it tastes like, a Slurpee, but flavored with apple juice. It's not a bad thing. But yeah, definitely reminds me of a Slurpee. Alright, see you in the next part. Okay, next up today are sweet corn flavors with Fresno and red pepper jelly. Let's see, uh, see how this does. Hmm. A little bit bland to be honest with you. I think that's uh, my first real disappointment in this festival. Yeah, whatever. The uh, jelly doesn't really add a whole lot. And the fritter by themselves. Kind of bland. Well, I guess they all can't be winners. I'll see you next time. I forgot to mention the kind of disappointing corn fritters came from here, the donut box. Located across from Test Track. Alright, I'll see you at the next. So I have now arrived in France and I'm about to have the um, fondue savoyard, fondue of imported cheese and chardonnay. Served with croutons. I've had fondue before, but not cheese fondue. So this will be a, another new experience for me. Mm. Slightly saltier and a little bit thicker than the cheddar and bacon soup I had at, at Canada and the crouton is a little bit softer than I expected it to be it's not like super toasty or anything not bad not bad at all I have returned to Japan for the frothy ramen chilled noodles in dashi broth with light foam topping I gotta admit, when I first read this in my passport, I um, I did not read the chilled part, and I was not expecting this to be cold to the touch. But surprise, surprise, here we are. Okay. I think I have a generous chopstick full of noodles there. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That is interesting. Cold yet still savory. Mm. It's almost kind of refreshing. Almost. I mean, I would. I think I'd rather have water over this if I need to refresh myself, but this isn't bad. It's a, it's a pleasant surprise. All right, and I'll see you at my final stop. All right, stopped off in uh, Morocco again for this, the chocolate baklava, covered in toasted almonds and dark chocolate sauce. Step. And already I've forgotten my most important lesson. Cutting off a piece beforehand because I can't do this with one hand. Alright, I'll see you again after I cut off a piece. Okay, cut a piece off and I'm about to dig in. Mmm. Flavors all complement each other pretty well. The chocolate, the filo dough, the Glaze the almonds. It all works pretty well. 
I'm not sure if I'll have one more after this. If I don't, then I think I'll call it a day. But until then, I'll see you next time. All right, I decided I had room for one more stop today, and I've stopped off in the uh, dear Road High Ireland for their warm chocolate pudding made with Irish cream liqueur custard. And uh, hey, remember my lesson from last time? I've already cut off a piece, as you can see. All right, let's give this a whirl. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Like a chocolate cake with warm custard on it. Oh, so delicious. So creamy, so moist, so rich. I think this might be my favorite dessert item so far. My favorite entree being the ter chicken teriyaki bun from Japan that I had last time. Alright. And that'll do it for part three of the Ninja Nam's Epcot Food and Wine Festival special. See you next time in part four. Okay, so that was everything that I wanted to try at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. I hope you enjoyed Hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all of that. But anyways, I'm Ninja Greg. You've been watching Ninja Noms, and I'll see you next time.